All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Star Trek Shuttles mod, which is being made by forum user Stinky Ace. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is five beautiful shuttles from the Star Trek franchise. And being a Trekkie, well, that just makes me happy. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get. Now, I'm not going to bother with size comparison comparison things like we usually do because well frankly they're shuttles they're kind of gonna be their own independent things so let's just go right to the janitor's closet mod filter leaving on just skunk works and then take a look at our five shuttles three of which are federation one is romulan and of course one klingon and let's start with the first of the federation shuttlecraft the condor and oh my it's beautiful i love it and also has some very impressive stats. Now, I am going to say right off the bat here for all of these things, they're all kind of cheaty because, I mean, of course they are. They're based on Star Trek. So it will never run out of fuel ever and can basically fly anywhere you want on its own. Again, Star Trek. Now, so as for its stats, it will hold up to eight crew members. Sadly, there's no internal view, so they're just kind of sitting there in emptiness. Uh, but it does, of course, require one minimum to operate, but has a built-in data transmitter, a magically powerful engine with 1,800 kilonewtons of thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer, which I'm not even going to mention the ISP because, again, little cheaty as it produces on its own always active 1000 oxidizer and liquid fuel per second and as well as 100 mono propellant per second always as well as 10 electric charge per second too so you know you're never gonna run out of materials now it also does have two degrees of gimbling range some built-in rcs reaction wheel and then the fuel tanks on this are 500 across the board for electric charge liquid fuel monopropellant and oxidizer which does mean with its automatic regeneration of a thousand per second it can fill up the entire fuel tank twice per second so yeah you're good on fuel. But again, Star Trek, so yeah, it works. Now next we are going to uh, look at here the next one, the Travel Pod 5. This one not quite so cheaty because, well, it's, it's a much tinier little thing. And all in all is, there we go, a, just a, a nice little shuttle for orbital maneuvering. It does hold a six Kerbals with a minimum of two to operate, but does have a built-in data transmitter, as well as those active generators producing oxidizer, monopropellant, electric charge, liquid fuel, so you'll never run out. And again, built-in RCS, reaction wheel, and then this time across the board, five uh, quantity tanks for liquid fuel, monopropellant, oxidizer, etc., rather than 500. So, you know, it fills these tanks even more quickly, which is impressive. Now, this one doesn't have a built-in engine, which is why I say it's kind of more for just maneuvering and, you know, docking with space stations and going maybe from a space station to a larger vessel. And, uh, yeah, so it really only has RCS to power it, but, I mean, for orbital maneuvering, that's not so bad. Now, I am going to kind of skip down to the coupling category as uh, these two kind of go with this one, considering its large back end here, we have some Star Trek inspired Clampotron docking ports for this baby to fit right on there. Now there is no attachment point for this, so you'll just kind of have to place wherever. And uh, there you go, you have a lovely docking port on the back of this thing with, of course, a uh, other one here for you to then attach to your space station, what have you. So there we are, we have your two parts for docking. Very good, and overall, uh, you're just a nice stubby little Star Trek shuttle. Now let's hit new again and head back up here for the Federation Type 5 shuttlecraft. There we go. Now again, this one, uh, you know, we will hold eight crew members, like with the Condor, and a minimum of one crew member to operate, built-in data transmitter, all of those generators producing all of your requirements, reaction wheel, and then again, interestingly, tanks all holding five of their given resources. You'd think 500, like with the Condor, but I mean, all right. Again, with the generators, it 
It really doesn't matter, but still, it is interesting. Uh, now again, this one does not actually have a built-in engine, and also its tiny tanks are kind of understandable, because if we go down to the fuel tanks category, well, it has an external fuel tank. We have the Federation Type 5 Shuttlecraft Repulsors, which don't actually have any stats, so they're not going to do a thing, but you pop them right on here for, you know, added stuff, even though they actually don't add stuff besides aesthetics. And as for the engine, it sits down here in the engine category, where we have the Federation Type 5 Shuttle Engines, which do hit way an attachment point right there. And now these engines will produce 500 kilonewtons of thrust, but again, the ISP and propellant usage doesn't matter because generators. And so, yes, that is all the parts for the Type 5 shuttlecraft there. Very fun. Now, let's head back to new craft and go take a look at the Klingon shuttlecraft, which this one, <laughs> yeah, there we go, is a little bit bigger, holding 10 Kerbals, but again, requiring one crew member to operate. Does have the built-in data transmitters, all the magical generators, the reaction wheel, and again, tiny little tanks of five, which, once more, we have tanks in the fuel category for the Klingon shuttlecraft repulsors, which have an attachment point which puts them right there. Again, no actual stats to them, but you know, it's a thing. And then in engines, we have the Klingon shuttle engines, alike with the Type 5 producing 500 kilonewtons of thrust, and they have their own attachment point right there. And there you go, a beautiful Klingon shuttlecraft. And that means we have one left to do, the Romulan shuttlecraft. Which, if we pop on there, is gorgeous. Oh, I love that thing. And, of course, does hold 10, like with the Klingon one. Requires one crew member to operate, has the built-in data transmitter, the magical generators, reaction wheel, and the same five quantity fuel tanks. And then we have the sort of aesthetic tank, which goes down there on that bottom attachment point. And then the engines in the engine category go on an internal attachment point, hooking them there to uh, the exterior of the shuttle. And there we go. That is all of the parts for this thing. Like I said, besides the decouplers here, we have no other parts in any of these categories. Let's just double check that. Yes, we're good. So let's actually take this uh, Romulan shuttlecraft out for a quick flight and then also take a look at one of the Federation ones up in space in its proper environment. And that should be it for the episode then with that. So let's uh, just turn on our SAS here. And uh, yeah, throttle up to half will be more than enough power for us to activate the engine and fly away with our Romulan shuttle. And uh, yeah, this thing gets really fast and fast. You can keep, in fact, you can keep this thing flying with about that much throttle there. But if you really, really want to get this into orbit quickly, throttle up and oh boy, you will be in space fairly quickly which is wonderful. Again, I mean, it's a sci-fi Star Trek shuttlecraft. It's gonna be a little bit cheaty, but hey, it's just cool having Star Trek stuff in any space-related game. So uh, yes, that is the Romulan shuttle, really all to look at with that one. So let's actually flip it out a few times, because why not? And then go to the tracking station to go and take a look at, I believe I put the Condor into orbit. Yes, and I flew it here because why not with the cheaty powers of Star Trek science? And there we go. Now, I did actually forget to show on the Condor as well as on the, uh, the... I'm forgetting suddenly the name of the small, tiny little shuttlecraft. They both had gears which you can activate to bring them up or down, which I forgot to show off. But there we are with that. And the door on these is kind of in the center of the actual craft to click on to then, you know, EVA or transfer crew. So a little bit awkward, but overall, who cares? Because shuttlecraft, and it's just sweet. 
And so, yes, if you, like me, are a uh, Star Trek nerd, you should definitely go and check out this mod, which link will be in the description as per usual. But, uh, yeah, that really is going to be it for today. Not a whole lot to look at with these parts, but they are wonderful and quite a bit of fun. So do go check it out, have some fun, and I hope you have, of course, liked this video, and uh, that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!